Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. Alright, last time we got ourselves two new gym badges. It's getting clear to see there the storm badge and the. I don't remember where. I don't. I don't remember what the name is badge. Anyway, we are going. We are now going to head east of Ecrotic City. You can actually go here just as soon as you've got a surf. And uh. Oh my god, Suicune! Must talk to Suicune! I think we got Paris, Paris here just so I could use Cuff. Wait, they have to run away. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, go back to Pokemon Center and get out uh, Heracross again. So, BRB! And now, we are back here. We are back! We got a super potion here. Oh, it's nice grabbing a super potion. Uh, this is uh, Mount Mortar, if I remember. Yeah, Mount Mortar. You can find stuff like Marys in there, but it got, doesn't get as important as it gets later in the game because uh, eventually, when you get to Kanto, you can uh, and you get to Saffron City and talk to a guy there. He will tell you that Karate Master is going to be in there. When you feed him, he will give you a Tyro. So, yeah, but you can't go there. You can't go to Kanto. I you can't get there after you beat until after you defeated the Elite Four and got him waterfall and all that stuff, so I will not be exploring it yet. I might do it in the future, I'm not just sure. Tolly has a cool fish! Level 18, so as you can see these uh, Pokemon are quite in a low in a low level, but that's just because uh he's hardened. Uh, <laughs> no, as I said, you can actually go here just as soon as you uh, got in Surf, so... Well, that's a pathetic damage! Go Findus! You can do this better than Leia, which is kind of pathetic. That an Eevee can do better than... Oh, come... Don't poison me, please! Oh, thank you very much. Uh... It's faster than me and just... Minimize! Why do I have to be so annoying, Quillfish? Really? I mean... Really? Come on, headbutt, do a decent amount of... Uh, come on, headbutt. Come on, headbutt. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Yes, it hit. Come on, take it out, take it out. And... Come on, quick attack. Yes, it hit. Your minimize didn't help you at all. Your minimize didn't help you at all, Tolly. What? That's not right. What do you mean? And a bit of... Mom, why do you have... You have to call me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Found a useful item. It's in your PC. I should probably go and grab all those items that are my mom had bought to me. Become the trainer champ while using a Pokemon I caught. That's the best part of fishing it. Trying to be the ultimate trainer too? Then we're comrades. I have to find any more answers. I think this guy will give you a uh, water stone if he calls you back. So make sure to grab his phone number if you need a water stone. Uh, let's head on through here. Battle this train over here. Hey! This is my secret place, get lost you out. What do you mean secret? It's not secret at all, I mean it's just out in the open. It's like it's like a kid that says like that place over there is a secret place. You're a kid, Pokemon Chain. You are a kid. I believe. Hopefully this Nidorina doesn't have a, a double kick. Okay, she's so going to go for a gr that's annoying. Now Leia won't be able to like Hit it for much damage at all. Yeah, this. Is okay, that works. Come on up. Hit yourself in confusion. Come on, Anita Arena. You can do it. You can do it. Yes! I believe in you. Come on, this punch. Do uh, this. One more. If it is some confusion, it's a uh, 1% chance of taking it out. Oh, come Of course, it does not. It's going to go for a uh, double kick, which does uh, 20 damage. Uh, come on, I just punch! Come on, lay up! Fuck, you were stronger than that! Don't! Well, it didn't crit me at least, so. Leia will be able to survive! Like that, and this is punch is going to be able to take out Nidorina, so. Good job, Leia! Good job! I know it takes a while when I'm trying to level up uh, Leia, but. That's just what I have to do so Leia can gain some happiness. So let's switch out of here into Oopa! Go 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 Oopa! Even though I could probably switch into Findus, but 
It does probably... Yeah, it has double kick. So I didn't want to risk it. And it does like pathetic damage to uh, Upa. So dig, dig, dig. Dig on the ground, Upa. Yeah, you tried to horn attack me, eh? Well, that doesn't work. I can dig you right in the mouth and take him out with a critical hit. Pretty sure that was a useless critical hit. Pokemon is saying was defeated. I should have used my Moonstone. Do you have a Moonstone? Can I have one? Working on the Pokedex. Wow, you must know some pretty rare Pokemon. Now please see it, please. No, you will not see it. Because you were such a jerk to me. I feel so free. I want to break free. Hiker Benjamin wants to break free. Anyway. He's going to have a Diglett, 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 Trio, Trio, Trio. No, oh, that, that whole ordeal. Scratch, it's not going to do too much damage. Yeah, only got 5 damage. But then again, I'm not too sure about Leos. This is Punch! It actually wanted to kill something. I'm How much experience do I need to level up? I mean, really? I mean, are you, are you for real game? I'm a, I'm a experience. 19 experience points, great. Uh, let's just switch out to Akina, I guess. Because Lei only has this punch, it's not really going to hurt you, dude. At all. Tackle, on does 3 damage, so I'm not too worried about that at all. Razor Leaf, come on off. Get a critical hit to get an overkill. Yeah, overkill! Nice job, Akina, and Lei, a critical 25. It's pretty goddamn awesome if I say so myself. Dark Trio, uh, let's go into Findus. Hopefully, Findus can take care of Dark Trio. It would be awesome if Findus outspeeds it. Even though it's only at level 16, Dark Trio is a very fast Pokemon. Wanna. <laughs> misclick, whatever. Scratch does like nothing. See, Shadow Ball, come on. Oh, almost beat it. Uh, if I would have just gone for head, but it would have been a one to kill. But I do have quick attack, so it doesn't really matter at all. And level up, nice. So I feed a hiker, Benjamin. Go! <laughs> what? What? What is this? Like it's evolving? Finally, Leia has now. Evolved in Dark Left Fairy! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, never thought this day would come. Oh, Cliff Fairy, you're so awesome. And uh, that will happen when you reach 220 uh, happiness or higher. That is when uh, Cleffa or any, any other Pokemon that evolves by uh, happiness is when they're going to be evolving. So let's see, now that she has evolved, I can teach her actually, actual good moves! Isn't that just amazing? Uh, let's get rid of Sweet Kiss, I guess. For Ice Punch! I think I give, uh, give her uh, all the elemental punches. That seems like a good idea. Seems like a fine idea by me. Charm. And this thing has such horrible accuracy, I'm not going to keep it so. Said all elemental punches. And since they're all special, and Leia actually has some pretty decent special attack. That uh, works uh, fine by me. There we go. Got all of those punches now. Well, 42. I could just say, Mahogany Town. We have now arrived in Mahogany Town. And actually, I'll head back to uh, New Bark Town for a little revisit there. And now we're back in good old New Bark Town. Let's actually just talk to our mom and see what she's doing in the kitchen. Crying very hard, I see. Get your room tidy. Or is this about your money? No, it's not. Did I save any time over? Nope. Uh, you can actually talk to her and uh, with that whole uh, daylight saving time. Actually, when you do that, you have a chance of uh, people calling you, if I remember correctly, and that means that they may have some items for you. Uh, repels. Ooh, Moonstone! Wow, that actually works out! Well, actually, uh, 
what I was about to do is go to uh, under the uh, over here surf to the cave over there because you can grab uh, a moonstone there before you can get waterfall but now I don't have to do that uh, I'm pretty sure that Leia doesn't really get that many good moves uh, leveling up I mean uh, she gets uh, some uh, really good moves uh, by just using uh, TMs but uh, if I remember correctly if my mind serves me correctly uh, Leia doesn't really get any good uh, level up moves which mean which you probably know what that means but let's get rid of his hoot hoot because I don't need him anymore sorry hoot hoot put uh, Hercules back in front and now that I got myself a moonstone, you know what that means? Yeah! It is finally time for Leia to evolve, or not finally, but. Your Clefairy evolved into a Clefable! Amazing! We now got ourselves a cliff fable and it's shiny too with ice punch, fun punch, this punch and fire punch, all the punches. As you can see it got some pretty pretty good stats all around. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the uh, Clefairy as uh, one of my Pokemon. Or sorry. Uh, I'll just keep uh, her in front of the party so she will get some playtime too. Fortunately enough uh, Clefair when Lego was a Clefairy, she didn't, she didn't really do a whole lot. As this gym, it's really not, or this town, there's really not too much to do in this town. So sightseeing, you should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. Sure, that's something that we have to do. And this guy is going to be blocking the way here, so you can't go any further. Oh, you're cute, I see you're new in the mahogany town. Since you're new, you should try out Jummy Rage Candy Bar right now. I can buy you for 300. Want one? Sure. You can see there, I don't have a lot of money. Uh, basically what I did, uh, I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but basically, if you go to the uh, underground in Goldenrod City, use the Poke Gear, then go, if you're using an emulator, go to your computer, change the day it is on your computer, and when you have the Poke Gear up, it will actually change the time, so you can maybe it's Friday now, change the time, it will become Saturday, you can go down, to the uh, uh, Salo Saloon Brothers, talk to one of them, make your Pokemon a little bit happy, then go out of the underground, uh, change the time again to another day, and uh, yeah, you can just continuously doing that. That is how I got the happiness of both, uh, both Leia and Findus. I mean, or else it's going to take forever for them to get up uh, to a 220 happiness. Anyway, after giving you some some tips on how to give be giving your Pokemon more happiness, we're going to be taking on Camper Spencer, who's going to have a Sentru, little Sentru. Go Leia! Isn't she just amazing? Ice Punch and one in KO. Easy one in KO from Leia. Now Leia is actually going to be able to one hit KO stuff. That's just whoa, unheard of. And yeah, let's go to Akina actually against this Sand Slash. So Akina can get some uh, experience too. Since Sand Slash probably gives out some decent amount of experience, so Leia can. Pr I mean, Akina can probably get a low lap or something. That would be nice. And a clean one hit KO. Nice. Almost a level up. Well, that's unfortunate. Subat! Uh, that one I'm not going to really be staying in, in on, so. Let's go! Scooby! Go on, mighty Scooby! Kill this bat! Bite it to death! Show him its doom! Yeah! That's how I like it! That is how I like it. Good job, Scooby. I like you. I like you a lot, Scooby. Have I told you that? This thing isn't fun at all. 
Yeah, you're probably right about that one, but win is, winning is always fun. Actually, yeah. Uh, if you go up here, there's going to be some rocket jerks who are going to stop you, and they will charge you 1,000 Poké Dollars to go through there. We run into a wild encounter. And that was just a ratty case, so nothing too much. Spray a repel. Since we have some of them, and go up here, and we got some for the picnic here, but I believe. We're going to Lake of Rage 2. Let's play for a little while. Yeah, sure. Let's play, let's play. And yeah, I'm worth right. Picnic here, Tiffany, and she's gonna have a da 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 Clefairy! This is amazing. Clefairy against a shiny Clefable. Who will win in this epic battle of that the game even can't even comprehend? <laughs> Why do you have to double slap me? Come on. I thought you were nicer than that clip. Five hits. Of course that has to happen. Well, that's actually fire punch it. Just to make it burn. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. Good job, Leia. Good job. I played too much. Yeah, you like played way too much. Is my Clefairy just the most adorable thing? Yes, it is. I'm... But not as adorable. It's not as fabulous as my Clefable. Nothing will beat that thing now. Nothing will ever beat it. So let's go over here and uh, fight this trainer over here. Hi, do you have any rare Pokemon? Well, I have a shiny Clefable. I guess that's pretty rare. Since you can only find really find Clefairies in Kanto. And you have a Lickitung, which I guess is also a pretty rare Pokemon. Akina can probably take care of this one pretty easily with her razor living powers. And... Uh, three, two, cr critical hit. Come on, Lick Tongue. It's a high chance of... Razorleaf getting a critical hit and Stomp getting a critical hit. Come on. It shouldn't do too much damage. A good thing I'm faster or else it would have a chance of uh, flinching me. And that would not be fun times. Yeah, critical lit! That is how I like it. That is how I like it. And I can go to 25. So I also like very much rent. Oh my poor Pokemon, darling, darling, darling. Uh, would you stand by my? I don't know why I'm talking in this weird accent. I'm just doing it. I would just do that. And here you can grab a max ether. And should probably s stop talking in that accent that I don't even know what I was trying to imitate. Uh, let's see. Let's go over up here because we have a trainer up here. Or two trainers actually. Would you get this? Some day guy made fun of my Pokemon! What a jerk! Darn it, my Pokemon's great! Yeah. A jerk, Dave. I mean, what is? What does he have against Pokemon? I mean, many a Rocks. Nido King. I mean, Nido King is badass. So why, why would he be making fun of a Nido King? I don't know. Let's see how much an Ember does against against a Nido King. Or else I probably have to switch out to somebody. Yeah. Let's see how much Horn Attack does. Well, I actually think Scooby can beat this uh, Nido King. If uh, Nido King does not get a critical hit or something, that would be very sad. At least using double kick just for the uh, high chance of getting a critical hit. What the jerk. Uh, one more. Oh, there comes the critical hit. Did I call it or what? But this Ember is going to be enough to take out a Nido King. So good job. Crit of course, get a critical hit when I don't need it, but Scooby still gets those critical hits, which is always nice. My Nido King, Nido King did pretty right on. Yeah, I guess it gave people to like different types of Pokemon. Pokemon is just about having the most powerful one, having the most awesome ones. I love Pokemon! That's why I started, and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon! Okay then. 
I guess if, if it works for you, it's alright by me. Slowbro is. Hey! You aren't supposed to have a Slowbro at level 19. It's almost at level 37 or something. Is it supposed to happen? Dare you do that. And let's actually go into Finder since Finder's a Shadow Ball. I know Slowbro has fantastic physical defense. But I still think uh, Shadow Ball will do a decent amount of damage to it. See, is that a... Yeah, that's a decent amount of damage. Come on, why do you have to growl me? That means Shadow Ball is not going to be able to take it out uh, next turn. So let's go for headbutt, see if we can like, get a flinch or something. Yes, we can get a flinch. That is what I want to see when it be able to hit me with one more move. As Scooby grows to level 25, so... Everyone is like at level 25. How could this? I don't know what I could. Uh, I'll make it say is how good this happened to me. I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. But into the grass and rip us back around. Don't get trainer back here. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. A spell for a change of pace. Sure, less spell for a change of pace. Fisherman Marv or Fisher Marvin, not Fisherman, that is in the uh, later games. Fisherman. Here is just Fisher. And let's go for a headbutt actually. Just not to waste any digs on magic cards. I mean, that would just be pointless to waste digs on magic cards. <laughs> 42 experience points, wow. Just wasting everybody's time. Uh, let's actually just do the easy thing with the uh, Gyarados and go into uh, Leia. Finally, I got something that can. Level 10 Gyarados? What? What's wrong with these people? Why well, you be hacking? Jerks. Or you can. I think you can actually find Gyarados in the water at level 10 or something. Just something weird like that. Magic Carp, I don't see any point just wasting. Switching out and was wasting precious time. Let's go for another found a punch and when he killed the magic carp. That's just so awesome. Wouldn't you say wouldn't you agree with me? I think you agree with me. And another Gyarados. And this one is also level 15! This is supposed to level up until level 20. Gyarados be trolling me. And there we go, Leia grows to level 26. Amazing. Quite amazing. I lost, but I feel better anyway. Why? Why you be... Ralph? It's Uncle Ralph, what is that about with me? No thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call it... I was at my mom's like... A few minutes ago. And why do you even care about me... Calling my mom? Are you... Her boyfriend, maybe? I wouldn't want that to happen. I mean, I wouldn't want Ralph to be my... My... My dad! Oh, no! I would not, I would not be happy with my dad. You can grab yourself a full store here. Always nice. And up here... This is like a little maze thing here, but you need cut. Uh, I know for a fact that at the end of the road you can grab yourself a... Uh, or you can talk to a guy and he will give you TM10. Which is hidden power, which basically uh, depends on uh, what IVs you have, which uh, power and which type hidden power is going to be. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's the gist of it, really. Now we're at Lake of Rage. The lake where all the trolls are in. The girls are angry! It's a bad omen. Very bad omen indeed. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, who should do the... Yeah, Leia should do the damage. Or sh she should do alright against the Gyarados. Before you take it on, make sure to save your game. And after you saved, you can take it on. Yeah, yeah! Oh my god, it's shiny! Well, it's always going to be shiny, so... Don't uh, say anything to your 
friends like if you gotta got the shiny garrus oh my god i got the shiny shiny garrus look at this i'm so cool i'm so awesome no you're not everybody's going to get a garrus at some point a shiny garrus okay that did nothing and let's see how much on the punch actually does it's not too big of a deal if i actually accidentally take out this garrus would just be nice to catch it have it as an hm slay which i always seem to use uh, this garrus for oh that's nice uh, that seems uh, the only thing I use uh, this this uh, shiny Gyarados for is uh, HM slaving. When I get the uh, those HMs, a really annoying thing is that it has Dragon Rage, which always does 40 damage. So it's good that uh, Akina was at uh, such a was at 41 HP. And uh, let's go with an Ultra Ball since we have it. Hopefully we can catch it. Gyarados can this Gyarados can be annoying to catch them. Case and point! Come on. Okay, take me out. But this, it is locked into Thrash right now. But the annoying thing is that uh, Thrash can make it uh, confused. And then you can hit yourself in confusion. Then you have to start all over again. And it's not going to be fun times for you. So let's just try this with a Great Ball and see if it works better. Come on, one, two, three. And there we go! A Great Ball got it in first try. But not Ultra Ball. That's just weird. Atrocious. It appears when, whenever there is world conflict, burning down any place to travel through. Is it like Godzilla? Or I don't know. And you'll get yourself a red scale, which uh, if you take take it back to Mr. Pokemon, you can trade it for an uh, experience here if you need it, but I don't really need it for now. Take of Garrus, but nothing else. It's the Medicor by being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? For Emil, I'm Lance, and a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Emil. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure, why not? Guess we don't have anything better to do. Being forced to evolve. Mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany Sarkov. I'll be waiting for you, Emil. And I guess I'll be waiting for you, Lance. And uh, he's going to be back in uh, Mahogany Town, which uh, we are going to be heading back to now. I mean, it's really nothing more we can do now. Uh, you could talk to some people up at the uh, Lake of Rage, but they're not going to do anything right now. But later on, there's going to be some trainers here that you can battle and all that good stuff. And now that we are back in Mahogany Town, I'm actually just going to be... Uh, Ending things off right here. I mean, we got to Mahogany Town, we got to Lake of Rage, we completed the area up there, and we got, and we now got ourselves a Glove Which was the most important thing that happened in this episode. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.